Governor Walker is already asking for federal money because of the Leo Frigo bridge failure. The governor's emergency declaration today because a bridge pier sunk two feet Wednesday. It caused a sag in the roadway that shut down the bridge over the Fox River indefinitely. And late this afternoon, officials said they're installing equipment similar to seismographs to try to detect any more possible movement. Good evening, everyone. As for that executive order, the governor says he issued it because he calls the bridge a key to the area and even the state economy. That's right, and if the federal government cooperates, the state could be reimbursed for months of work on the bridge. But as Fox 11's Eric Peterson shows us, the investigation needs to be finished first. Governor Walker's emergency declaration could put the initial costs for the Leo Frigo Memorial Bridge closure in the hands of the federal government. The governor's office says emergency relief funds administered by the Federal Highway Administration would cover 100% of the cost for the first 180 days of the project. What that would do would be to make the, uh, the cost of the work that would be not need to be done um, to get the bridge back uh, open and operational. Department of Transportation engineers first need to find a cause. The Federal Highway Administration would need to approve the report before granting any relief. It has to be a, you know, a specific um, incident or failure um, that was caused by some external force. The governor says his administration needs to act quickly. If federal approval is denied, other construction projects could be affected. The transportation budget uh, has been set for the next two years. Uh, we certainly would have some flexibility with something like this. Uh, really hasn't been any work done uh, between our office and the Department of Transportation in terms of what things would have to be moved down depending on the funding. In the meantime, inspectors will continue to work through the weekend. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that that area where Pier 22 is is safe and then we're going to move on into that pier to start to look at it more closely. In Green Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Pictures are still amazing. State officials say this is the first time an emergency declaration has been made since the Hone Bridge in Milwaukee needed repair about 13 years ago.